Hi everybody, I'm Johnny, and welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. We're going to go see Steve Hayes, and he's going to tell us about an incredible movie. Johnny, I'm so glad to see you. Come on. Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Oh, Johnny, I wanted to do something, oh, I don't know, that would just bring up my 20s in New York City. And so I decided to choose one of my favorite musicals of all time, Bob Fosse's Cabaret. Now, this was based on a Broadway musical, which was based on a play, which was based on novels written by Christopher Isherwood. Uh, they later made it into a play called I Am a Camera, and it was made into a movie with Julie Harris called I Am a Camera in the early 50s. My sex appeal inadequate. It's adequate. Inadequate. Adequate. <laughs> When it came around time to do this version of it, they had done a, a Broadway musical. It was music by Kander and Ebb, very famous, got many, many Tonys. And in fact, it won a Tony Award for Joel Grey as the MC. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Bob Fosse took this company and they went off to Germany. Now, he wanted Liza Minnelli, and she had won a Tony Award when she was 16 for Flora the Red Menace. And she had also, the year before, been nominated for an Academy Award for The Stero Cuckoo, which was a fabulous movie when she played Pookie Adams. All right, Pookie. It was terrific. You wait and see. <laughs> Liza Minnelli is one of the great, great talents. Her performances were so raw and so brilliant. It's still one of my favorite performances ever in a film. You're American. Oh, God, how depressing. You're meant to think I'm an international woman of mystery. I've been working on it like mad. <laughs> because of her, her lineage, you know, her mother being Judy Garland, her father being uh, Vincente Minnelli, she had the best of both worlds in terms of the influence of old-fashioned showbiz. Bye. They decided to rewrite the script and make it more, oh, current like the times, a little bit more liberated, a little bit more bisexual. So they took out the plot about the aging couple, or one who's the the landlady and the one who's Jewish, uh, the Jewish man who courted her, which was a big part of the of the Broadway musical and instead put in a three-way love affair between Sally Bowles and her English writer played by Michael York and this incredibly hot German actor named Helmut Grimm who plays this count who's kind of after both of them. It was so hot. Um, it was kind of scary for them, they said, to shoot this in Germany at the time. There was It wasn't that long after World War II, and um, it was a little bit, it was a little scary. But Fosse, oh my God, Fosse took that camera and he would go in. You're right on the dance floor with him. They're, they're dancing around you. Then the camera would spy up. Liza Minnelli never had anybody who gave her such a loving Valentine as he did. Now, Sally Bowles in the short stories and in the musical is supposed to be sort of a second-rate singer. Liza Minnelli ain't no second-rate singer. She's great. <laughs> she couldn't be second-rate if she tried. But she acts the devil out of this performance. She went and had her hair cut like this German silent actress, Leo Deputti. So her hair went down like this. And they put her, she slinked down, and they put her in these in these little teeny outfits with her legs showing. And it was, it gave her green fingernails. Divine decadence. And she's the most enchanting, entrancing, irritating, heartbreaking character. <laughs> She was nominated for an Oscar. Joel Grey was nominated for an Oscar. This was 1972. And the big competition that year was The Godfather. 
And uh, Cypher, who produced Cabaret, said, well, we thought we might pick up a couple of technical awards. Cabaret swept the Oscars. Best Actress for Liza Minnelli, Best Supporting Actor for Joel Grey, Best Direction for Bob Fosse. It got almost everything but Best Picture, which The Godfather took that year. It, it holds up today. What good is sitting all alone in your room? Come hear the music play. It's as fresh and, I don't know, gay-friendly and hot and exciting as it ever was. It is the best musical. You are going to have the time of your life. Life is a cabaret. Enjoy it. Liza Minnelli, Joel Grey, Michael York, Marissa Berenson, Helmut Green, and Bob Fosse's masterpiece. Cabaret. Willkommen. Let's all go to the 70s were just a together. wonderful time. Everything was sort of bisexual. Everybody, it, 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 gays were much more uh, accepted. It's divine decadence.